Hello everyone, this is Inalia, and welcome to my vlogs. Hopefully time will go by fast. Come here. Oh. Jess, you needed some nail peppers. Thank you. Because I have very short Tell mouth. all the people. I'm tired of getting clawed, but she's just off thing to doing it. I'm like, cool. Do that, please. <laughs> Put these on mark. I can't do them right now. I can't take them right now, Mitchell. Fine. Love you. Love you too. Good platform. <laughs> There's a chicken. There's a chicken. Da 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 da. Chicken, 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 chicken. Prep area. And spinach, onion, tomato, garlic, garlic, and did I say onion? remember but there's all that stuff in there mm, goodness da, da, da. So do we need to put more spinach in here da, da, da. Da, is this da, good? Da, 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 da. that was good because Mitch is not running it at all da, da, da. Da, are you da, sure no more da, 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 da. yep I am perfectly fine that's good, that's good. 
Totally good. Cherry hole. Go. And the cream. And the cream. And we got the cream. Whoa. That is totally not two cups, but it's close to it. Now we just gotta stir it. And we got a lot of it. <laughs> it's okay, it's gonna reduce down. Yeah. Oops. Camera slipped. Camera slipped. Okay. So delicious. Oh my god. So good. Oh yeah, we gotta add the parmesan now. Add the parm. Add the parm. Cat is going into the fridge. Add the parm. Add the parm. And now we need to see what the farm farm is. Whoa, cat, I almost got you. Cat. Cat, I almost got you. Look at the chicken. Will I do my password? Yeah. Look at the chicken. Look at the chicken. Isn't delicious chicken, chicken, chicken. It's going to get cooked even more in the parmesan. Salt, pepper. Oh, yeah, we have to salt and pepper it. This? Yep. So then we gotta do salt and pepper, and then one half cup of parmesan. A par one ca half cup of a parmesan. <laughs> pepper, 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 pepper. Yummy, 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 yummy. Yum. Salting it up in here. It's snowing! <laughs> it sure is. It's snowing in September. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> in September! Like the very, very beginning of September? Yep. September the 1st, it snowed in this pot of pan of. What is this? Spinach, garlic, onion, tomato. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> it looks good already. It really does. It smells so good too. <sighs> actually, that cream actually toned down on the garlic and onion. It yeah. really did. So now you can actually smell a lot better of the tomato and then stuff like that. It's gonna cook down a little bit and then it's gonna be creamy instead of <laughs> runny as fuck. Well, Excuse my language. No, you're fine. I always cuss in my videos as well. Come on, eat good tonight. Uh huh. Unlike yesterday night. That was some. <laughs> okay, so yesterday night. We said we had to go to the store to get food, and I thought gonna pop in my face. <laughs> and um, so Mitch decided to cook us dinner and got mm. a can of chili along with- On top of lettuce. On top of lettuce. And then the lettuce was on top of chips, tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. And, mm. It was, uh, it was, and then I, I kind of had to add ranch to it for me to just get it down. So. I did that too. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was good after the ranch. Yeah, it was. It was good <laughs> Oh my god. It was, it was, it was something. Anyways, so, um, after that, um, I just, I'm not going to have Mitch cook food anymore. <laughs> just no. Oh yeah, we added some parsley flakes to it too. Oh -ho. Oh -ho. Looks even better. Got a lot of greenery. It's got a good bit of color to it too. I know. So good. <laughs> so this is what happens when two women enter a kitchen together. Flash used to be chef student. Yes, yes. We actually saw Culinary this. Culinary student. We actually saw this on Facebook. And we're like, we're going to make some 
Parmesan tux Tuscan chicken. This is what it is. Parmesan Tuscan chicken <laughs> that it's is so just much. overflowed into the eye. Nope, no, it's good. Holy God. No, nope, it's literally okay. Hold down on the stir. <laughs> what if I want to do an extreme stir? Stir, extreme stir. <laughs> Extreme stir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't Can know. I go ahead and add the cheese? Uh, it has to be half a cup of Parmesan. Hang on, wait. Half cup of Parmesan. Let's go back a little bit. We added the onion. We added the tomatoes and the spinach and the heavy cream and the salt and the pepper. One tablespoon of each. It bubbles and bubbles and half parsley. Yep. And then... Whoa, we add the... Wait. Where do you add the... Go back. Yeah, what the fuck? I went too far back. Damn it. That's fine. Where's the Parmesan? I fucking swear to God, I saw Parmesan. It is. Garlic, onion, tomato, spinach, heavy cream, salt, pepper, the bubbles for Parmesan, okay, parsley. Yeah, half a cup of Parmesan. It's supposed to bubble first. Oh, it's bubbling! Oh God, it's bubbling! That's only one spot though. I guess this could be another thing with cooking with Yuna. Because that's what this is turning into. A I mean, cooking with Yuna. We never filmed the other one. The we one. never did. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. The asparagus bacon chi uh, bacon chicken. <laughs> bacon wrapped asparagus. Looks delicious. Mm, it is really good, by the way. It's really good. Oh, it's bubbling. Oh, God, yes. Oh, yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't actually smell it until I put my nose, like, right yeah. here. Oh, stand, stand right there in the smoke. Why are you filming me doing that? Like, oh, no. Don't, don't <laughs> over here. Like, Hi, Fat Dad. How are you? Don't be mean to him. Hi. Do you want some Tuscan chicken? Flick your tail. For yes. Flick your tail for yes. Okay. No, I don't yep. Think he wants any. No, he flicked his tail. I saw his tail flick. Flick your tail. Meow. Meow. There he goes, he did it! Yes! He flicked his tail! I'm sorry. Is that good? <laughs> da, 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 da. Running away! Asparagus rat bacon thief! <laughs> it's bubbling. Yes. Bubbling. Let me zoom in on the bubbles. Let me zoom in more. Not that much zoom in. God, look at the bubbles. Okay, I probably need to start that. Yep. Excuse me. I'm gonna make everyone hungry. I just told y'all the recipe for this. You need thigh, chicken thighs, four chicken thighs, or however many you want. We only have three, because there's only three. Well, three do we people. have four? We have six. No, I meant, like, cooked. We no, have we have three, three cooked, because hey, they take you have, fucking forever. You have to cook the chicken thighs first. Yep. And then in the same pan, afterwards... Why are you showing me? Um, afterwards, you put the... You sweat 
the onion and the garlic, which is basically just cook them until they're clear. And then you add tomatoes. And then you add and then you add the spinach as well and you mix that up. And you let the spinach cook down till it's basically all wrinkly just, and yeah, shrink it. Um, like and then you back. add the cream and then you make it do these bubbles. Let me zoom on the bubbles. Bubbles. These bubbles. And yeah. You gotta do two cups of cream. And then you l let this happen and then you add parsley and parmesan. But we added the parsley earlier and some other stuff because we didn't pay attention to the video. <laughs> yeah. We just remembered all the things that we needed. Okay, anyways. Look at our doused chicken. Mmm, chicken. It's got all that good stuff on it. We just added some Parmesan cheese. And now the chicken is in there. Mmm, yes. So good. Oh, I got chicks over me. I'm hungry. <laughs> Too bad we can't eat until Mitch gets back. It should be done until he, until he gets back. It should be done, like, in a second. Hopefully. Cause we're not Good morning, everyone. Um. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, good. He did put the clothes in the washing machine. In the car. Oh good, I fully... <sighs> totally forgot that we had um, this stuff. We need a trash can in here, I swear. Anyways, so good morning everyone. This is the next day. Um, we have decided that we are going to make the Tuscan chicken again at some point but I don't know what when or what or how did he goodness me <laughs> there's a lot of lint on this so anyways um the reason I'm speaking so softly is because everyone is still asleep and I don't want to disturb them. But, um, there was a really disturbing dream that I had last night and it bothers me a bit. Wow, that's like a fucking blanket. <laughs> Look at that. You could literally make a blanket out of this stuff. Crazy thick. Holy crap. Um, anyways. Wave this, wave it, wave it, okay. Um. Had a dream last night. Ten, pretend, pretend. Partaking. had a deal with my church and someone there and someone there I can't really decide if it has to do with the person I saw that I dreamt about that I met with in the dream or if it has to do with someone else that has this thing on them, but um, there is someone has a spirit or a demon or something attached to them or around them and it's it's not good. It's causing them a lot of problems at home and at work. 
So I need to go to the church on Sunday and walk around. I feel like if I had gone to the church on Saturday, I would have met the person, but I was asleep over here. Uh, no, on Friday, I'm sorry. If I had met the person on Friday, this is Saturday. And, um, I would have seen things, but I've already seen a lot of stuff that I, that I already know. And I don't know how to deal with the situation yet, but I, I will once I figure it out, once I see it. Um, it had to do with, I won't say Luann, but it's not Luann. Or was it? I don't remember. It's No, no, it's not Luann. It was someone else. And I can see her face, but I can't think of her name. Because I always get people's names mixed up at church. There's just so many people. And it's like I walk in and ask for a job or something and but then a lot of things happen and it disturbs me and the person at the desk the person at the desk is like oh that's never happened before I don't know what's wrong like can you stay with me um you know be be with me for a moment and of course I I oblige cuz I'm spooked all to hell too and it's like I it's like I was expecting something but then I wasn't and we kind of walk around to the side to the other desk room that deal was the other side doors the other office and things happen there as well And so, we get even more freaked out, but it's like, it's thrilling, but I know it's not going to happen all the time. It's only when whatever this thing wants to do. And... Ah, sorry, I just woke up. Um, this thing is preying on the people around it. And it's wanting something. So, I feel like if I go to church and I stand out in the middle of the Great Hall and look up on the second story floor, the balcony. That's where it's going to be waiting for me. Tall male. Demon-ish. Um, it's wanting something. I don't know if it's specifically me, or if it's the person that saw it. Or saw the things that did that will be there. I don't know if it was actually me or if it was the person I was inside. I have a feeling it wasn't me, it was the person I was inside, but this is the hardest thing here. Whenever you leave your body and jump in someone else's or something like that and you see through their eyes and you see all this stuff and you hear their conversations it's kind of hard to distinguish if it's you or if it's someone else. But I know me, and I my head was way over here. Like, way up here. And I was looking down upon the girl, the woman. Um, whereas my, my, my eyesight is 
the desk is here and I'm like right here and the woman's head is like right here level. So she's sitting down and just a little bit higher than her. There's a lot of things that I'm having to go through to decide how I should handle this, but it wanted me to see that. And I feel like somewhere inside of me has this whole thing playing out in my mind where if I go to the church, someone's going to stop me and say, hey, were you here Friday night and flinging stuff around the room? Like, we saw you fling stuff and throw stuff around the room. Why are you here again? It's... It's weird. Because I don't know if that's a thing or if it's just my imaginations being played with or... I don't know. But something inside me is like saying you have to go to the church to know more. I'm going to have to go to the church and meet this thing. I know exactly what time I have to be there too. It's going to be after church, uh, during church. <sighs> when everyone's out of the Great Hall, no one's going to be in there. It's going to be phone silent. And I'm going to walk in there from the office, from the side office. I'm just going to stand in the middle and look up. And the light is going to be streaming kind of through the stained glass behind me and shining on the floor. I'm going to step into partially the circle because it's an offset. I'm going to look straight up and see it. And he's expecting that. He knows I'm coming. He knows I'm going to be there. He's doing this for some reason. Anyways. Um, there's just been some weird things going on. I had spirits from the asylum, long past asylum, following me around for about two weeks. While some construction was going on at the mall, they knew I could see them, that's why they're here, following me around causing problems. They weren't really causing me problems, they were causing angel problems. More or less, angels problems. So I would have to have them stop and do stuff. Well, they actually did bother me a little bit. I had a little bit of problems out of them. Um, the water spigot turned on right in front of Mitchell. That, that was crazy. <laughs> Like, the water spigot was off, and all of a sudden the water just starts turning. I'm just like, holy God. <laughs> um, had the doors open and close on us. We had a cabinet door open and close on us. We had things move around the room. Um, We had, like, Mitch will be sitting at his computer over there, and then while he's playing, there would be like a whoosh sound, and there's a flash, and he'd turn around thinking the house is on fire. He'd come check the kitchen, and everything is off, and nothing's on, and then he'd go back and sit down. Happened twice. Twice or three times. And it really disturbed him. So he, he ran up the stairs and got me. He was like, hey, did you... Did you hear that? I'm like, hear what? And he's like, the whoosh sound. It, it came from behind me. It was really loud. 
like a fire had broken out or something, and I'm like, no, no, I haven't. And he's like, okay, well, it kind of keeps happening. This is like the second time it happened, or the third, or something, and I, I just want to know. I'm like, okay. So, that happened. And then, like, of course our doors kept opening and shutting, and, um, okay. So yeah, we've, and finally it's actually toned down. I went to the mall last week walked around my mom and I, it felt very much lighter. A lot lighter. A lot cheerier. A lot better. And um, so I texted my friend and I was like, hey, the, the mall is feeling a lot better. What's going on? He's like, oh, things are falling into place now. Things are settling down. It's all good. I'm like, cool, great, awesome. So then that must mean I won't be bothered anymore. So, uh, we have a lot of cleaning to do in this kitchen, by the way. We've got pots and pans and dishes and things, and we got to put stuff up, and then load it again, and clean the cutting board, clean that pot for trash. There's a fly in here that's having a whole gorg and gorging, gorging himself. Can't speak this early in the morning. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things going on right now, and I don't know, it just has me disturbed, it has me really worried, and something about the dream just has me wanting to go check it out. I wouldn't have to go check it out because that's what he wants me to do. He's wanting to meet with me for some reason. Anyways, um, hopefully y'all enjoyed last night and the, today's vlog. Um, so yeah, we will be cooking more, I'll be vlogging more, and Angel's mad at me because I don't post enough videos and such that much anymore and for like four or five months <laughs> and I'm just like yeah <laughs> uh, it happens it just happens anyways uh, I'll see you later until next time bye guys I can turn you off oh there we go